Shabbat Shalom, everyone. I got a little teaching on the fire. Fire? What fire? <laughs> fire of the Holy Spirit. That's what fire. You know, John, when he saw Jesus, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God, which takes away the sins of the world, whose latchet of whose shoes I am unworthy to unloose. I baptize with water, but he shall baptize you in the Holy Spirit and fire, with the Holy Spirit and fire. Well, the Lord has shown me what the fire is for. There's a refiner's fire of the Holy Spirit that can burn away the things which people or, or certain actions have left in our emotions. cleanses us from all sin. But there's a growth process and many have been wounded by other people. And I mean seriously wounded. I don't mean like little bickerings in the church or something or little disagreements. I mean seriously wounded people who have gone undergone physical as well as emotional abuse for most of their lives. Well, the fire can burn that away. Jesus is the baptizer of the Holy Spirit and fire. Baptism means to be immersed, by the way. And that's exactly what it means. If the definition of baptism is immersion. Well, we come to know Jesus, we get our sins covered by the blood. We're forgiven. And with that, we can shout, Hallelujah! <laughs> Thank you, God. Praise Jesus. Praise Joshua. <laughs> but the fire, my friend, is important. It refines. Sometimes we go through fiery trials. It's to refine the gemstone which you are. We are precious stones. Jesus is the precious cornerstone. And we as living stones are coming together. So the fire burns away the wood, the hay, the stubble to get to that which is precious. And there is a fire that you can come through that burns away all the baggage that others have left. All the baggage that maybe demons have even left. And it's all part of coming up higher with the Lord. There is a place where you can fly like an eagle. It says in Isaiah 40, 31, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. And furthermore, they shall run and not grow weary and walk and not faint. You can be in that place, friend. And when you get to there, when you start flying high, it's like the higher you come to the Lord, <laughs> the higher that you fly, you may be more misunderstood. You may be the most understood you've ever been in your life. But it's easier to get to where you're going. It's not so much of a battle because you're flying high. The higher that an eagle flies, the less effort he has to put into his wings. The Lord says to you today, will you come up higher? Will you rest in me and come up higher? <laughs> it's a wonderful place to be, friend. <laughs>